Okay, so in this example, we're given this system, which is composed of a beam that's supported by pin C and has a rope that's attached to pin D. And we're asked to determine the tension in the rope and the, and the reaction of pin C. To solve for this, we want to sum the moments about point C. If we do that, then, we, then our only variable would be the tension in this force, which is what we want. So to start off, we want, we, we want to find this distance, this distance, and this distance. Okay. Now this distance is the same as this distance. And here we have a nice triangle. Okay. And this angle is 20 degrees. So to find this, it's adjacent over hypotenuse, where 10 is our hypotenuse. So this is equal to 10 cosine 20. And over here, we can also draw our second triangle. I mean, excuse me, it's the first triangle, but, but this distance is equal to 12 minus this leg, okay? And this leg is equal to 10 opposite over hypotenuse, so 10 sine 20. So this distance is equal to 12 minus 10 sine 20. And over here, we can draw our second triangle right here. This, this leg is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's 15 cosine 20 and if we're given this side and this side we can find this angle so this angle is, is equal to inverse tangent of opposite over adjacent so 12 minus 10 sine 20 over 10 cosine 20 which gives you 42 degrees Okay. Now for our purposes, we will assume that the tension in this in this rope is going this way. So here we have its horizontal component and its vertical component. And we want to sum all of these forces about pin C. Okay? So sum of moments about pin C equals 0. So start off, we have this force, 75 pounds, 75, excuse me, and this is our positive moment, okay? It's 70, 75 pounds, it's negative because it's going clockwise, times the moment arm, which is this distance, which we found to be 15 cosine 20. And we have this force, it's clockwise, excuse me, it's counterclockwise, so it's positive, plus tension times the, the, its distance is 12 times the component, which is adjacent over hypotenuse, so times cosine 42 equals zero. So you solve for T, and T equals 117 pounds. So this is your tension in this rope. And so the next step is to find the reactions at C. So to do this, you sum the forces, and the X equals to zero and sum the forces in the y equal to zero. Okay? So for x, we have the x component of this tension, which is 117 cosine 42, and we have the reaction at C. Let's assume it's going like this, plus Cx equals zero. Therefore, Cx equals 
negative negative 87 pounds since it's negative it tells us that our assumption of this direction is wrong that it's actually going this way going this way to the left and now we sum the forces in the y so we have our cy minus 117 sine 42 minus 75 equals 0 so cy equals 153 pounds okay so this tells us that the horizontal component of the reaction at C goes left 87 then goes up 153 so it's like this which is, which is equal to the square root of 153 squared plus 87 squared which equals 176 pounds is the reaction at C and this angle is equal to inverse tangent of 153 over negative 87 which gives us 60.4 degrees so this is your answer and thank you for watching.